cottage pie, cottage pie, shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie, cottage pie, shepherd's pie, shepherd's pie, cottage pie. Okay, so if you use beef, it's cottage pie. If you use lamb, it's just shepherd's pie. It doesn't make any difference. You can just choose. Everything else is exactly the same. So what we've got there is a nice ground meat. I'm using beef today, so this would actually be considered a cottage pie. Got some peas, carrots, onions, garlic, a little bit of thyme in there. And then a lovely mashed potato on the top, little bit of cheese, bang it in the oven, a British classic. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. So what we have here is some ground or minced beef. Now that would make this a cottage pie. If that was lamb, it would be a shepherd's pie. Exactly the same, apart from the meat changing. So we've got equal parts here, one, two, three, four, about a cup each of onion, tomato, green peas and carrots, all cut quite small. Two teaspoons of thyme, you could use a different herb, it's entirely up to you. One tablespoon of garlic. We're gonna start this off with some oil. We're gonna add salt and pepper and we're gonna add a little bit of stock. Okay, let's get started. So the heat is on, just put that on. I've got three tablespoons of olive oil in there. No problem using a different oil if you want. Let's start off by one cup of onion. I'm using white onion today, but of course you could use red if you want. We're gonna add one tablespoon of chopped garlic. And while we're here, I'm gonna get the carrots in now. So about a cup again, roughly equal parts. Above medium heat, four minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, now for our ground meat. I'm using beef, not lamb. Use a combo of the two if you wanted. 700 grams. I'm now gonna add salt. Black pepper. And our two teaspoons of time. Stay on this heat and let's go now for five to six minutes. You can see I'm going to be breaking it down with my spoon and stirring it in. See you then. Fabulous. Now that one cup of tomato and equal amounts of the peas, in they go. If you wanted, you could add some celery into this as well, which if you were going to, put that in at the same time as the carrots and the onions, get it straight in. We're gonna go for about another four or five minutes. Again, on this above medium heat, I'm gonna be stirring fairly often. Really fabulous. Okay, I've got some stock here. It's like a cup of stock. I'm actually using chicken stock, but use beef stock if you want, or vegetable, but yeah, I think the chicken stock's nice in here. I'm gonna lower the heat down, not to a simmer, but just above that. I'm gonna let it go for about another four or five minutes. Job done, beautiful. Okay, off goes the heat, that looks fantastic. Check it for salt and pepper. It's good for me. Let's move on. So you can see I've got roughly equal amounts in volume of the meat sauce that we just made to mashed potato. Now I'm not gonna go through the process of making mashed potato. I presume most of you know how to do it and I don't wanna turn this into a 25 minute video. What I've done is I've got my potatoes. I peeled them, I put them in cold water with some salt. I boiled them till they're really nice and soft and then I gave them a mash, mash, mash. If you want, you can add pepper to it, black pepper. You can add butter and a splash of milk. I've just gone for a little splash of milk in mine. So you can see roughly equal parts in volume. Let's move on. So what I'm gonna need you to do now is put your oven on full blast. Just get it as hot as you can. Everything we're doing here is already cooked. We're not baking a cake. We're just getting in there and bringing it together. Okay, you can now see that my ground beef mixture is in a container that can go in the oven. I'm using metal, as you can see. You can use ceramic or you can use glass. You can make it now as thick or as thin as you like. I mean, that's probably two centimeters there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the potato now and put it on the top. So 
So you saw me there just spoon the potato on, then I used a fork to flatten it out. And you can see with the fork what I've done. Can you see these them lines that I put in it? That's deliberate. You know, you want some kind of peaks and troughs, they're gonna catch. You know, if you make it flat and smooth, it's not gonna be so nice. These little bits here, flick it up, get some grooves happening. They'll catch in the oven. Okay, I've got some cheese here, I've got some cheddar. You can put on as much or as little as you like. I've got about a cup here. So let me just throw that on. Then I'm gonna spread that out. And that's gonna go in the oven, full blast oven. So I hope your oven's on already. Just really nice and hot. Don't put this into a cold oven. And that's gonna go in for about, in my oven, about 10 minutes. You know what we're looking for. See when it comes out. Okay, and doesn't he look pleased with himself? That's fabulous. You can see that nice golden brown. That's where you want it to be. Delicious, bit of an old classic. I hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Well, well done for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you that follow the channel on a regular basis. You know who you are. There's loads of you. I'm cooking away like nonstop. As you can see, I've got some lovely food right in front of me here. We're just about to be, start our cookbook. We're doing our cookbook at the moment, which is going to take a long time to come out. I know a lot of you have been asking for it, but yeah, it's going to take a while, lots to do. But yeah, cooking away. Chef June is working really hard on the channel as well, doing his Filipino food in Tugalo. Rahel's got her own channel now doing the Ethiopian food, which is marvellous. It is in Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia. But check it out because she really, really is fantastic. I'm doing good. I hope you're doing great. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. I do actually try and get back to everyone who leaves a comment for me. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. There's social media knocking about, you know, Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff if you want to check it out. But that's it. Keep safe. Keep well. Lots of love.